happy just now. So much life in a farm. Okay, we are going to, it's called Wildlife Warriors or Wildlife Direct. And it's all about like conservation and just education as well regarding like kids and understanding just how it is to live with wildlife and understanding. So we're gonna go be able to immerse ourselves so we can also learn. So we also know the importance of conservation and our environment around us where we are right now. So let's go. I mean, we're still walking, but since the place is said to go in is free, only since it's up and coming, but they do want like, they're down for like donations because they usually kind of cater to like educating the young kids. So we got like some books. So whenever they actually have other kids there, they can actually donate it to them or the different schools or whoever goes in there that is the young kids. So. Can't wait to get there. Still walking. After you see the shops right there, you see the lorries or trucks. You make a left and we go this way. We had to call the guy to kind of direct us the rest of the way to find it. So that section with the houses over there, that's what they call Kenyoi or the center. Okay. So, in the process, we found, we spoke to Tobias, he told us the rest of the way. But, I think because we told him we were walking, he ended up getting another guy named Wally to come and pick us up and take us all the way in. So, we almost there. It's so nice and peaceful. I like it. But, right now you feel like any animal can pop up and get you. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> okay. Anyways, the journey must go on. And you said, what was your name? I'm Wally. Wally? Yeah. Okay. And then you said you're into, so you want to do what when you go to university? Well, I, I intend on majoring in international business, but this has always been a hobby of mine. Mm -hmm. So, like, getting to learn more about animals, the environment, conservation, has always been something I've really been passionate about. We found the guy we were looking for. It's Wally. <laughs> So he's picked us up and he's gonna take us all the way in. So pretty much we found out the name is Wildlife um, Warriors Field Station. Field Station? Field Lab. Field Lab. Wildlife Warriors Field Lab. And then the big company itself is called Wildlife Direct. I mean, I've done it a few times. Yeah. You've shocked yourself? Oh, several times. Oh my goodness. I wonder what are the wax on your Uh huh. He's oh. a, I'm not sure. Is it sure. power right now? But it did it did it kick you in your butt? No. Okay. So the watch probably. Not no, there's no power. No. So you're telling me there's a hyena den that they usually go and walk to. And then you said they live underground. Yeah, um they dig holes and so there's usually a canopy of trees that covers it to just act as extra protection mm -hmm. and so usually when we want to go exploring or anything we traverse the terrain and like go under the trees stick our heads under the holes to see if there's anything inside uh, the, how many are usually living there uh, well it depends we don't really see them when we go inside their houses but we'll go farther away and then wait for it to get a bit darker so they come out and I think the most we've seen in the night is 13 or 14. <laughs> yeah. So how long do you stay over there before you feel safe to come back? I mean, this area is relatively safe if you're walking with a group of people. Oh, okay. So we can usually come back at like 7 or 8. Oh, wow. That's a daredevil work. <laughs> I mean, like, that's brave. <laughs> um, over there is... Our mess 
tent. So that's just like our common area. Uh huh. Um, this is our botanist tent. A uh, what? A uh, what tent? Uh, uh, the botanist, the guy in charge of like cataloging all the flowers and stuff, and just seeing which type of species are in the area. Uh huh. His name is Bakari. This is his tent. Over there, scattered around our like mine and Toby's tents. Okay. And before we had another intern, his name is Quinn. He was primarily just uh, taking pictures of birds and like drawing animals. Mm -hmm. So that was his tent. And then usually when there are kids around, we have them stay under the green tent behind this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we hold some activities like drawing, reading. So Bakari specializes in plants. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, welcome. So, I'm Tobias. Mm -hmm. As I said, the camp manager for the Ola Forest Club. And we have Makari, Makari Garise, is from Mombasa. He calls himself 001. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is just an example of yeah. some of the things that he does. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, what we do is that we collect plant specimens mm -hmm. from around the field lab. And we do this like a mini herbarium. Oh, like a barium is like a library. Of oh, yeah. mm. so that's amazing. You don't have to, like, before you go down for nature walk to uh -huh. get to see the different plants that are here, you can just get to see them, you see the name, the family of the plant, where it was collected, the date it was collected, the person who collected it, and the habitat that that, that plant was collected from. Oh, wow. So, it's only the Wolof Forest Field Lab is a, it's 30 acres uh -huh. in size. And we are lucky enough to have like four, not even four, I'd say five uh -huh. different types of habitats. So we start from up there, from the gate, you saw the savanna grass. When we go for nature walks, they can get to identify the different types of animals. At times we get, might not be lucky enough to see them, but at times they even graze just somewhere here. And even on the other side, you can see impalas, zebras, Giraffes, you can see them. So they come right here, yeah, pretty at, much. At night, they, they're always here. Oh, and always, always. Even in the mornings, you can always just see them heading down the park. Oh my goodness. They're really friendly. They're so friendly. Yeah. So, so when the kids come, do they come and spend the night? No, mm -hmm. for now, we, we still don't have. Uh, because you can see, as you can see, it's still a temporary. Oh, okay. We still, we just came here in January. Mm -hmm. So we're still in the process of planning, designing the camp. How it should be. Well, of Direct itself as an organization mm -hmm. has different programs. We have the TV programs. This is where we get to highlight Wildlife well Forest. These are people who are doing amazing conservation work, mm -hmm. research across Kenya mm -hmm. on different types of animals, like doing science and research. So, through the Wildlife well Forest Kids Clubs, which is um, a national education program, we get to use the tv series to inspire children as well so that they can get to know what are the things they can do mm -hmm. what are the different animals that are in kenya what are the research that other young people are doing what are the opportunities that are out there for them so when they come we do filming here we do like show them a film film screening mm -hmm. just inside this tent and then they get to do art as you can see those are some of our Art materials, uh -huh. painting, drawing, and then after that we get to go down for a nature walk. Mm -hmm. where they get to see the different animals that are that we have here at the wildlife forest. Field. Is this one? This one, eh? Mm. The, 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 no, this is a big one. This is the giraffe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? This is the giraffe. Oh, yeah, the way the head. Yeah. And the teeth here. Yeah. It's yeah. heavy. Just a bone, a bone. Yeah. So hard. <laughs> but just imagine what everything goes. Can I feel that? Yeah, the 
think they're actually surprisingly quite smooth. I see. Oh no, Anna. Eh? Me born a giraffe. I thought since when I was as young as my boy. Eh? Going together with the elders. No, at home. Mm -hmm. Spectacular. You said, what is this one called? Dan beetle. Dan beetle. Mm. From the antelope. You no. Know. He found it. Oh my gosh. Mommy. On a trigger. On a giraffe. This has become so amazing. The giraffe, you can move closer. Um, it's pretty much we've noticed. We're enjoying being able to see the whole ecosystem These are wild animals. Because you may see all, you may hear all about the big animals, but being able to actually notice the poop and how the bugs interact with that, even just the plants, just everything in detail. It's, it's just amazing to see how the whole ecosystem works together. It's amazing. I think it's a really great way to really immerse yourself with the environment. I feel like you should definitely, as much as I know people like to do it with the car, it's also nice to do like an actual walkthrough with people who actually know the environment, who can actually spot little animals, bugs, even the poopings, just all the, just the little details you would just bypass. So, amazing. And we're seeing a giraffe. Hills, Karen, all that area. Oh. Yeah. This is heading to uh, north of Malindi. Oh. Yeah, this is Bagadi River, joins Ati River, uh -huh. joins Galana River, then lastly, Sabak, uh, the, yeah, it has three names from here Bagadi, uh, Ati River, Galana, then Sabaki. Oh. Yeah, to the sea. Oh, to the sea? Yeah, Ma Malindi. Oh! She says, step on the grass. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, an experience. Last time we were at the river, uh -huh. he also fell in the water. <laughs> ah, no, it's okay. it's okay. Like you said, what is it? An experience. <laughs> Turn around, let me no. see. Let me see. Remember <laughs> <laughs> we went to the river over there? Same thing. Fig trees. Yeah, this is the Aika Sakamothi. Which is in, even the, the Bible. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's really useful. One, when it's fruiting, so many animals and birds come for the fruit. The fish from the water, the birds, the antelopes. Every guy comes here, so that's why you can see so several spe different species from different areas. They're just underneath the fig trees. Oh, yeah. So that was yeah. fresh, yeah. fresh water. Yeah, this is very fresh. Very fresh. So the crocodile was yeah. sitting here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very fresh. You can tell even by no, touch. The rock is in, it's hot, so yeah. Oh. So it was just here. It was just here. Oh wow! <laughs> so it could be anywhere around. Uh, anyway, you are not allowed to to do your back like that. Eh? Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Squash you. For me, like an example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I did? Well, don't don't do it. Eh? <laughs> I took my back. You know, we depend on the tana mm -hmm. for everything: fishing, washing, and all that. So when I did my washing, then the time I was coming out mm -hmm. of the water. I put this one the right, then the, the left, I did not get that time to pull it, eh? eh. jumped with me inside the water. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> How did you get away? What did you do? Can you see? <gasps> this is all total cut to the bone. Oh my gosh. The, those uh, those uh, muscles are all 
just lying outside there. Look at the baboon. Hi, baboon. amazing tour guide I don't, I don't even want to say that what is your title i, no, I have I to give it justice <laughs> <laughs> i am a tour guide as well as a teacher as well as well as a parent so but i feel like there's a title for knowing plants and trees i'm a botanist say it again botanist we had an amazing botanist uh, my name is bakari abaye garise from Mombasa, Kenya, and I arrived here last year, October, with uh, working with the Wildlife Direct in Nairobi. Offices are in um, current connection, mm. opposite the Vice President's uh, building, eh? okay. offices. And I have gone round. I, uh, my work normally is plant identifier. Mm -hmm. I'm a botanist for a long time, more than 30 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, I started uh, identifying plants in early 1987. And really, I love it. It's amazing. It's another thing to just see it from up here, but it's nice to walk and actually see the details. Because you don't usually pay attention to the details. Park. Yeah. When you go there, you're in a car. That's so true. So you're still kind of disconnected, but here you can like walk, and you can yes. see the things, yes. touch them with your hands. Mm -hmm. it's really. Amazing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, I enjoyed it. I think what you guys are doing is amazing work over here.